incredible. Uh, it's where we always dream to be in Ulster Champion, but uh, I'm happy that we're back to back Ulster Champion. Absolutely, they uh, did everything they had, they worked a good system, they were really defensive, it was hard to break down at times, but uh, we're just glad to get over the line and uh, focus for our Finn Bars in two weeks' time. Yeah. And just before you go, Ulster finals are special, but this one's even special to have your wee brother back home out of hospital and doing well. Absolutely, it means a lot to have him here. I uh, missed him in the down final and uh, it's just great to have him here and one of the most important days ever. Yeah, a, a big character in, in the country. Oh, massive character. Absolutely. Massive. Around the best for Cheers, thank you very thank much. You. We're joined here at the grounds with Colin McGilligan, Colin is a coach of the Kilkoo winning team. Also champions 2021, back to back, must be a great feeling. Yeah it is, look it's brilliant because uh, I suppose with nothing last year we were going really well and you just don't know whether you can reach them heights again, you know obviously finishing and getting beaten in All-Ireland Club final was hard to get back out of the game but look it just shows the level of commitment and um, the boys' capacity just to keep going, like they've been going a decade now, and they've had so many bad days. And you know, now that some of the players, especially the older boys, you know, were able to get two ulsters, you know, it's very, very special for them. And you know, they, they really deserve it because they are a great group. Yeah, a great group, and, and plenty on the bench there to come out and, and, and push for their places. We've seen that over the end campaign and again today, Connors. Yeah, look, and the hard bit is like you can only play five subs. Like you know, it'd have been great there if you could give seven of them because they're also deserving. And the unfortunate part is there's boys there, in particular, that didn't get on today and they're the ones that I suppose I have maybe most admiration for because Sit. night in, night out, they give you so much, they never miss, they don't complain, you know, it's all for the cause and it's those players that maybe aren't in the limelight and people aren't talking about, that's the backdrop of everything we do, you know, so it's, it's very special for them as well. Yeah, everybody refers to the team effort and that was, yeah. was very evident today. So obviously an easier win than you would have been expected coming down, nevertheless Derry Donnelly, a great team. Yeah, look, Derry Donnelly, you know, a mark of respect that we had for them that we'd done so much homework um, because we knew the last time we were here like we were very lucky we probably shouldn't have come out we got a goal against the runner play which was a difference so um, look, we were very well prepared today and we knew what they were going to throw at us and look, um, look we were very very clinical in what we'd done um, in the finish up so um, I think the scoreline was very unfair on Derry Gonnelly yeah. um, just once we get the run and got the scores and they had open out and I suppose their game plan had a change and look, you know, you take no delight in that because they're a great team and they've done so much for Fermanagh football over the last four four sort of months that they've been they've been going in this yeah. season. Yeah, two ways to refer for us in Fanbar. So we wish you the very best of luck. Enjoy today and we'll see you in two weeks' time. Right, thank Thanks, Connor.